What's up guys, this is GTFan712 finally back with another episode of This Week in Roshi News for the week of March 10th to the 19th, 2013. I apologize for the tardiness of this episode, however, this has been the biggest ever week in Roshi News, and I was away on vacation for its entirety with no internet access, leaving me only a few days to catch up on all that has happened and cram it into a video for you guys. You can expect this week in Roshi News to return to its regularly scheduled weekend release this upcoming weekend. This is going to be a very long episode, so if you'd prefer to simply read about the stories instead of hearing me tell you them, you can find all of the news listed in the description below. Now, let's get into this week's releases. Now, this week brought us several releases, the first of which being the surprising release of the never-before-seen Total Crimson Roshis, featuring a Total Crimson OG Mesh Upper, a Gamma Gray Swoosh, and a Sail Soul. This colorway appeared this week at select foot action locations, so give your local store a call to see if you can cop a pair of this bright orange Roshi run. Next up, the other spring colorways were spotted at several retailers this week, including Bows and Arrows in Berkeley, California, and Premier Boutique, who received the Squadron Blues, Tarp Greens, and Black and Gamma Grays. More information on these colorways is coming up later in this episode. Next up, another spring Roshi model was spotted at select retailers this week, and it's the Roshi 2, which is actually named the Roshi Run FB. Three colorways have been spotted, including the current blue hot lime and chrome sprite colorway, a sequoia total orange and metallic gold colorway, and the black pink flash and fresh mint Yeezy colorway. These colorways all correspond to similar Nike football models included in the FC 24-7 collection. All three colorways have been seen at select chic shoes locations, and the sprite and sequoia total crimson colorway have been spotted at select finish line locations. The retail on these is the same as the regular Roshi run at $70, so if you're interested in a pair, check your local chic shoes or finish line locations. Next up, the Women's Roshi Run saw a few releases when ShopNiceKicks.com released three Women's Roshis, including one Women's Speckled Roshi and two Women's Wovens. The Bright Citrus Speckled Roshi colorway features a Bright Citrus Upper with Total Crimson Speckling and Sale on the Swoosh, Laces, and Sole. The Total Crimson Women's Woven Roshi features a Total Crimson Woven Upper with Sale Colored Nike Branding and a Bright Mango Sole, the same color from the coveted Men's Mango colorway. Lastly, the Hyper Blue Woman's Woven Roshi features a Hyper Blue Woven Upper with black colored Nike branding and a pure violet sole. All of these are available over on ShopNiceKicks.com, so check the links in the description below to pick up a pair, and remember to use the code NKVID20 for 20% off your order from NiceKicks. Next, we saw the first release of the Roshi Run Canvas model, and it happened to be on a colorway that we have not seen before. The Obsidian colorway features the same canvas toe box and woven mid-panel, but this time in Obsidian with sail swoosh, laces, and sole, and total crimson accents on the heel and tongue pull tabs. This colorway hit Atmos Japan this weekend and can be purchased now through Rakuten for $76 plus international shipping fees. Now lastly, a big surprise came this week on Tuesday, March 19th, when all three previously mentioned spring colorways, the Squadron Blues, Tarp Greens, and Black and Gamma Grays, released over at finishline.com, along with the Sprite and Sequoia and Total Crimson colorways of the Roshi Run FB and the Pink Speckled Woman's Roshi Run. These are all available now on finishline.com for $70 with free shipping. Limited sizes are left in stock, but if you'd like to purchase a pair, you can do so now by checking on the links in the description below. As of now, we're not sure on the whereabouts of the final spring colorway, the Mango V2, but stick with this week in Roshi News for any future release dates and information. First up, we get a few more images of the upcoming Roshi Run Mid City Pack, which is set for release this weekend. ID4 Shoes on eBay put up their pairs of all four City Pack colorways this week, giving us a better look at each colorway. If you want to secure your pair now, you can do so from ID4 Shoes now for only $130 shipped, so check the links in the description to pick up your pair before they release this weekend at select Nike Sportswear accounts, including End Clothing in the UK, who plan on releasing their stock this Friday. Next up, Team Roshi's own Bombers picked up this sample of the black and total crimson colorway of the dynamic Flywire Roshi Run. He provided us with some detailed shots of this upcoming model, highlighting the multicolored Flywire in the mid-panel and the total crimson Flywire pull tabs. In the comments below, let me know how you like this sample and if you plan on picking up a pair when they release in the near future. This week, we got another look at both colorways of the upcoming Tiger Camo Roshis, including this excellent shot of the green colorway from Mr. Bianco and Alex Scharf. No word on if or when these printed Roshis will release, but let me know how you like them in the comments below. 
Next up, we get another look at the Woman's Roshi Run. This image could possibly be a look at the Fall 2013 Woman's Roshi Run lineup, including four colorways. A selection of black, brown, gray, and burgundy uppers are shown, all with an orange-colored swoosh. No confirmation that this is actually an upcoming pack of Woman's Roshis, but let me know how you like them in the comments below. Staying on the topic of the Woman's Roshi Run, we get another look at one of the Woman's Tie-Dye colorways, which features several shades of gray on the tie-dyed upper, a dark gray swoosh, and total crimson accents on the eyelets and tongue pull tab. Still no release information on these Woman's Roshis, but let me know if you would pick them up in the comments below. Now for an announcement from Team Roshi. If you've been following us on Instagram, you know that the first run of Team Roshi t-shirts are releasing soon, and in fact, they're dropping this weekend over on TeamRoshi.com. We'll be releasing our first batch throughout the weekend via our social media accounts, as our web store is currently password protected. To enter the site and purchase a shirt, you'll have to wait for us to release the password. Thursday, we will release a portion of our stock to current Team Roshi members. Friday, we will release the password for another portion of our stock on our Facebook at facebook.com slash teamroshi. Saturday, we'll drop the password on our Instagram, and Sunday on our Twitter account. Unfortunately, to cover all of our out-of-pocket costs, these shirts will release in very limited quantities. Detailed release information will be posted on our Facebook page later in the week. And that will wrap up this massive episode of This Week in Roshi News for the week of March 10th to the 19th. Again, I apologize for how late this episode has taken to upload. I've been overloaded with work this week and not having internet access for the biggest ever week in Roshi News put me a bit behind. Thanks again for checking out This Week in Roshi News and be sure to stop by next weekend for another episode full of Roshi Run release information and future model previews. If you guys have any questions or would like to know more about the Roshi Run, feel free to leave me a comment below or check the links in the description to go to the Nike Talk or Soul Collector Roshi run forums. If you're on Twitter or Instagram, be sure to follow Team Roshi at Team Roshi for up-to-the-minute news updates and member photos, and check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Team Roshi. You can follow myself at GTFan712 for updates on any future videos and daily sneaker photos, and if you're enjoying my content, be sure to like me over on facebook.com slash GTFan712 Productions. Until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.